Hey, I'm Dr. Bob Cargill, editor of Bible and Archaeology. 2023 has been another great year for biblical archaeology, and we here at Bible and Archaeology are pleased to present the top 10 archaeological discoveries of 2023 presented by Marshalltown, the maker of the premier archaeological tool, the Marshalltown hand trowel, used in excavations around the world, and not only made in the USA, but made right here in Iowa. Go Hawks! So here they are, the top 10 biblical archaeology discoveries of 2023. Number 10. Sahura's Pyramid Reveals New Rooms Specialists working to conserve and restore the Sahura Pyramid, which was built approximately 4,400 years ago for the pharaoh Sahura, announced the discovery of a series of previously unknown rooms within the pyramid. The team used 3D laser scanning tools to create a detailed survey of the interior of the pyramid, mapping its corridors and chambers. It was during this process that the team identified a passageway that led them to eight previously undiscovered storerooms. While the rooms were empty and badly damaged, remnants of the original walls and floor are still visible. The team was also able to secure the pyramid's burial chambers, which had been previously inaccessible. Number 9. A Monument of the Goddess Ishtar Unearthed at Nimrud Archaeologists from the University of Pennsylvania, excavating in the ancient city of Nimrud, discovered a large stone monument of the goddess Ishtar. This find is just one of the new discoveries to come from the excavations at Nimrud. The stone monument in question depicts the goddess Ishtar inside a star, which archaeologists have declared to be the first unequivocal depiction of Ishtar Sharat Nephi, an aspect of the goddess that is connected with the rising of Venus. This find joins another discovery from this year of a separate stone monument which depicts Ishtar alongside the Assyrian king Ashur Narzapal II. Number 8. A new papyrus with early sayings of Jesus. A papyrus fragment believed to contain sayings of Jesus and dating to the 2nd century CE was published this year. The fragment comes from the Oxyrhynchus collection, which is a group of papyri fragments numbering over half a million that were excavated from ancient Egyptian trash heaps in the late 19th and early 20th centuries and which range in date from the 3rd century BCE to the 7th century CE. Scholars believe the fragment contains sayings of Jesus and it has been dated on the basis of paleography to the 2nd century CE making it one of the earliest known pieces of Christian writing to date. While the fragment itself does not contain the phrase, Jesus said, scholars believe the fragment is a collection of sayings attributed to Jesus, containing no narrative, what is commonly known as a sayings gospel. However, they do not believe that this fragment is the theoretical Q source known from Matthew and Luke, as it varies from these gospels in important ways. Number 7. Egyptian Evidence of a Female Pharaoh Archaeologists excavating the tomb of Merit Neith this year uncovered hundreds of sealed wine jars and a series of inscriptions. Despite being buried some 5,000 years ago, the jars are in a remarkable state of preservation, and many of them are still sealed. The jars have been identified as wine jars on the basis of the organic residue left inside them including the presence of grape pips. Archaeologists also found inscriptions in the tomb that describe Merit Neith as being responsible for government offices. These tablets provide new information about Merit Neith, who is known from Egyptian records as a consort and regent during the First Dynasty, but is believed by some scholars to have been the first female pharaoh of Egypt. Number 6. Scholars squeeze the first word from scorched Vesuvius scroll. The carbonized Herculaneum scrolls revealed their first word this year. The discovery came as part of the Vesuvius Challenge, a contest created by Dr. Seals at the University of Kentucky intended to draw researchers to the project of improving the use of AI to identify words within X-ray images from the still-rolled Herculaneum scrolls. 
a collection of 800 scrolls charred by the eruption of Vesuvius in 79 CE. The successful identification of the first word was announced this year as Luke Ferreter, a computer science student at the University of Nebraska, was able to successfully identify the word porphyrous, meaning purple or purple dye, from a fragment of one of the scrolls, earning Luke a $40,000 prize. Number five, a rare 2,300-year-old bronze mirror found in a Jerusalem grave. In September, the Israel Antiquities Authority announced that during a salvage excavation conducted in 2019, before the construction of the Hebron Road in Jerusalem, a cave was discovered that contained the burial of a young woman and a rare bronze mirror from the Hellenistic period, dating to the 4th or 3rd century BCE. The tomb, which has been identified as the tomb of a Hatira, or Greek courtesan, was carved into the limestone bedrock. It consisted of a shaft-like entrance room and an interior burial chamber, both of which were plastered, while the entrance to the burial chamber was sealed shut with bitumen from the Dead Sea. The bronze folding box mirror found inside the tomb is extremely rare, as this example is one of only two to have been found in Israel and one of just 63 known from the Hellenistic world. Number four, Bronze Age brain surgery at Megiddo. Archaeologists from the excavations at Megiddo in Israel announced this year that evidence of cranial surgery had been found during their excavations. The signs of surgery were found on the bones of one of two brothers found buried below the floor of a Bronze Age house in Megiddo, which archaeologists have dated to between 1550 and 1450 BCE. In a paper published in the journal Plus One, researchers stated that this discovery is one of the region's earliest examples of cranial trephination, a procedure where a hole is created in the skull, commonly identified as one of the first three procedures that marked the dawn of surgery. Unfortunately, for this ancient individual, the report notes a lack of evidence of healing around the site of the procedure, indicating that the individual died not long after the operation occurred. Number three, a 4,000-year-old Canaanite arch is found in northern Israel. Archaeologists excavating at Tel Shimron in northern Israel announced the discovery of a 4,000-year-old Canaanite arch. The corbelled archway was found during excavations at the site's Middle Bronze Age Acropolis. The discovery of such an archway is rare in the region, especially given its level of preservation as the arch is made of sun-dried mud brick. The closest parallel for this archway in Israel is the triple-arched gate at Tel Dan. The brick architecture seen in this arch is similar to the type seen in northern Syria and Mesopotamia during the Middle Bronze Age. The purpose of the archway is still unknown, as excavation of the passageway in the connected building is still ongoing. Number two, ancient toilets reveal dysentery in Old Testament Jerusalem. A study of fecal matter taken from cesspits below two Iron Age toilets in Jerusalem have revealed the presence of the dysentery-causing parasite Giardia, which researchers say is the earliest known evidence of Giardia. The samples in question were taken from the sediment layers in the cesspits below the respective toilets that are located in two separate elite building complexes south of the Old City. One toilet comes from the estate of Arman Hanatsiv that archaeologists believe dates to the 7th century BCE. The second toilet is located in what is commonly referred to as the House of Ahiel in the City of David excavations and is located in a seven-room domestic structure which archaeologists believe dates to around the 8th century BCE. The researchers state that, quote, the fact that these parasites were present in sediment from two Iron Age Jerusalem cesspits suggests that dysentery was endemic in the kingdom of Judah. Speaking of number two, before we get to our top discovery of 2023, we need to address two stinkers that were dropped on the world of archaeology this year. Our bottom of the cesspit, not top ten stinker number one, the so-called Darius inscription. 
This unfortunate discovery was retracted almost as immediately as it was announced. Apparently, someone inscribed a piece of pottery with the name of the Persian king Darius, or Darius, on it. And many of us immediately smelled something Hello. suspicious. A few days later, a massive mea culpa was released, stating that the forged inscription was a teaching exercise gone awry. But not before this unprovidenced inscription was announced to the public days before Purim. This admittedly fake inscription reminds us yet again not to publish unprovidenced objects and lands at stinker number one on this year's list of things we should ignore. And our very bottom of the cesspit, not top 10, stinker number two, the deuce of deuces and the biggest pile of Shabbat Shalom that we saw this year, the publication of the Mount Abal piece of Hello. lead. As we have chronicled over and over and over and over and over again on this channel, our fundamentalist friends hawking the so-called Mount Abal inscription finally found a place to publish their claims of a tsunami of an inscription that would supposedly undo all of biblical scholarship and all of biblical archaeology. And if it sounds too good to be true, that's because it is. This thing went over like a lead clasp. That's it. Because that's all it ever was. A degrading piece of lead from a 40-year-old dump pile that served as a fundamentalist Rorschach test. Archaeological pareidolia for those wanting to believe things that real archaeology doesn't support. This Mount Abal claim was born online as a press conference and a YouTube video, and that's where it will die, in social media. Because scholars and legitimate publications don't publish unprovidence objects and don't publish responses to made up unprovidenced nonsense in legitimate publications. This Mount Abal Balagan is now a few years old, but it finally got published, meaning it gets one last mention in our list of things to ignore in 2023 and may it rest in peace. And now our number one biblical archeology span discovery of 2023. Dead Sea Caves produced 1900 year old Roman swords. Four Roman era swords were discovered this year in a cave near the Dead Sea. The discovery came as a part of the IAA's Judean Desert Survey, a project that aims to document and excavate the caves near the Dead Sea in the hopes of finding scrolls before looters do. Following the discovery of one sword, researchers returned to search the whole cave. In total, the cave produced three Roman long swords with their wooden scabbards, a shorter ring pommel sword, and the head of a javelin, all of which have been dated by their typology to the second century CE. Archaeologists think the swords were likely taken as plunder from the battlefield by Jewish rebels and hidden for later reuse, possibly during the Bar Kokhba revolt. And that completes our list of the top biblical archaeology discoveries of 2023. What do you think of our list? What do you think should be at the top? Leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to explain why we left other discoveries off our list. And remember, you can visit Bible and Archaeology all year long for your archaeology news updates. For all of us here at Bible and Archaeology, I'm Dr. Bob Cargill wishing you a happy new year and everything the best.